Welcome back to, ooh, yes, well, remember, we were back in Poland. So we've got one, two, we've got five snacks today. He can try four, I'll try five. Um, yes. So please. let's get started. Do you want to do some trivia? Yes, I shall do three. Number one, all po Polish television is A, black and white, B, yeah, broadcast by the same company, doubled by the same man, D, C, doubled by the same man, or D, broadcast in English. I'm going to say broadcast in English. Okay. C, in Poland, subtitles, subtitles were very rare. Instead, everything is doubled. Dubbed. Dubbed. Sorry. Dubbed by the same man. Oh, so the same guy does all the... Yeah. Interesting. To, to celebrate spring locals, we'll A, toss rotten fish into a tree. <laughs> B, eat a pickled pear. <laughs> C, throw a big doll to a river. A what doll? A, throw a big doll. A big doll. Know. Throw a big doll into the river, or C, wear blue cloths. Hops. I want to say throw a fish in a tree. C, in Poland, springtime means it's good to toss a doll into a river, not just any old doll. Oh. Not just any old doll? There's a specific doll? Yeah. Okay, last one. Two out of... Three we have done. Three. Before we, be the week before, Lint Local celebrated the holiday called Tap Dance Tuesday, Weepy Wednesday, Ugly Friday, Fat Thursday? Mm -hmm. What the? Which one? Fat Thursday. Kurt, you are correct! Alright, let's get started. First, we've got the. Jokesy yogurt candy. It says dairy time. Open a Polish fridge and you'll find milk, buttermilk, sour cream, butter, and kefir, a fermented cream drink, quark, a soft cheese curd, and last but not least, yogurt. And that is the Polish word for yogurt. So this is. Well, we figured out a new word. Milk pink. I. Um... Maybe I will be different since it's in a different colored wrapper. Oh, it is. Look. I do like the wrapper color. I think I'm going to have to spit this out. Why, right, strawberry. I love strawberry. Strawberries and cream. Yeah, All right, you ready? But I don't like yogurt. Mm. All right. Hmm. Not so bad. Oh, you can chew it. It's not a hard candy, it's a soft candy. Mmm. Mm. The texture gets a little grainy, so that's probably what happened to... Yuck. What happened? There was so much... The yogurt flavor... The yogurt flavor countered the candy, and that apple peak was... The apple yogurt taste... It's kind of, I liked it for a bit, then I decided, nah, because I'm not a big, a big yogurt fan. Eh. I gotta get this taste out of my mouth. Next. All right. Cho chocolate covered gingerbread. The legendary gingerbread of Toron, Poland. A 15-year-old Polish composer back in 1825 visited the city, and in a letter to a friend, he recounted the amazing sights, the ornate Gothic churches, and the famous Leaning Tower, the spectacular town hall. Then he wrote, yet all of this does not surpass the gingerbread. So that's pretty big words. It set some pretty high standards. Then said one shiny... we got one biscuit here. Biscuit? Kind of looks like a dog bone. Oh, it's soft. Oh. It's not hard. Oh, I'm going to crunch that. This is the weirdest. It smells like gingerbread. Oh, there's definitely gingerbread spice in here. Mm-hmm. All right, you ready? Chocolate gingerbread spice, yes. All right. What is 
Uh, <laughs> not good. I feel like if you're going to travel to this region, you know, like northern Europe, you need to be a fan of gingerbread. Yeah. I it's feel like, like I personally feel like I'm missing out on something because I don't really enjoy gingerbread that much. Right. Up next, we got milk fudge. Say hello to Poland's most popular candy, the little cow. We're not talking about the cute cow in the wrapper, though. Though it's adorable, we are referencing the candy's name, which is literally translated to little cow. Looks like it has caramel in it. And it looks like it's a caramel, you know, it's a little hard. It's harder than the other two. Yeah, it's harder than a caramel square. I imagine as you bite into it, it'll get softer once it gets in your mouth. Mm. Mm, broke apart for you. Mm. It's really good. It is. I don't know what it tastes like. I mean, it's dry. It's not like a chewy. It breaks down as you, you know. It has a texture of candy corn. Oh, candy corn! That's exactly what it is. That's pretty tasty. I could eat it. I could definitely. That could definitely be a snack that I keep around the house. Next for you, Dad, is the... Well, we'll do that last. We'll skip. Oh. We've got one that possibly has nuts in it. Because it, because it's called E. Weedle Milk Chocolate with right. Peanut we'll Butter that. and Chocolate Filling. We'll do that. I'll do that one last. Um, up next, we have Butter and Salt Potato Chips. Crunch. Buttery potato chips? Yes, in Poland the combination is a no-brainer. You know from page 7 that both potatoes and dairy products... Yeah. In Poland, instead of the phrase, it's a piece of cake, they say, it's a roll of butter. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm excited about this. I've never thought of... I mean, you put butter on a big potato, so I've never thought of butter potato chips. Oh, that smells buttery. Oh my gosh, I that want it like all! Butter. That smells like butter popcorn, and they're the thin chips like the Lay's. I may eat it out of your hand. Get your one. No. I, I mean, it just it looks like a Lay's chip. I'm kind of excited that we got the whole bag because I'm I'm pretty sure this is gonna be my lunch. Mm -hmm. oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> oh, that is just pure butter. The salt and the butter make a combination that's beyond this world. It's like, you know that the, the top layer of popcorn you get at the movie theater? Like, it just has that butter flavor. Like, that's what... Mm. Oh, those are good. The butter and the salt combination make mm. a taste out of this world that nobody likes. Mm. That is good. Oh, man, that is up there. And they have to make this an everywhere tree. I mean, this is up there with those soggy balls. The, yeah. the salted uh, egg yolk popcorn. Mm -hmm. This might oh, be both man. of our. This might be our both of our second second favorite, right? Mm -hmm. That 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 is not gonna that bag is not gonna live to see tomorrow. Man, that was good. Oh, I wish we were supposed to have that last. I wish we had it last because that is a perfect way to end this. Oh, yeah. But we've got this e Weddle milk. Chocolate with peanut and cocoa filling, courtesy of Poland's oldest chocolate tier. You already know about E. Waddle Company, but did you know that it was run by the Willy Wonka of Poland? The nickname didn't come for nothing. I mean, it just looks like, you know, chocolate covered. Yep, I hear the peanut in there. It's I thought it had wafers in it. That's good. Oh, yeah, I hear the peanut. Mmm. Mmm. That's real good. The the peanut cocoa. There's no wafers, but it's just, that's that's really good. I mean, it's not like, it's a it's a well-balanced peanut, peanut to chocolate ratio. Um, it's not like a peanut butter cup. It's not, I mean, maybe like, but it doesn't have the crispy parts, but maybe like a Fifth Avenue, how, you know, those, those go together. But that was very, very good. All right, so now time for the grading system. Grading. All right, what was your number one? 
The chips. Yeah, obviously. The chips, number one. It had to taste out of this world. And what was your number two? My number two was... The little cow? Yeah. All right, what was your... Number three? Yeah. It's either the yogurt candy or the gingerbread. I have to say the gingerbread spice. Was number three? Yeah. Mm. And yeah. And last but not least, the yogurt candy. For me, the butter chips. Yeah, obviously. Number one, that candy bar that I just ate. Number two, the little cow. Number three, the yogurt. Number four, and the gingerbread chip. Number or the gingerbread chocolate cookie thing. Number five. Hey, we got two of the same. Four. Yeah. So, um, last round. You had that chocolate marshmallow bar as number one, I think. Yeah, that's right. So and which is better, the chocolate marshmallow bar or the, the, the butter cookies? The, bu the chips! Yeah, the, the chips, chips, not cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Way better in the Monster Munch. By far the best thing in this and box. My, okay, so my third is Monster Munch, my second is the marshmallow bar, and that is my first, the, the butter All chips. Right. I really like that. Munch. But we've got two more... Um, Two more tasting visits to go while we're still in Poland. Um, so thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that like button real quick. Um, sus subscribe, you know. And, um, and don't forget to check out our Facebook page and our, our TikTok channel. Yep. Because every little bit helps. Yep. So thanks. Tell a friend, you know. And um, we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye.